today was the last chance for me to get out before the closure of the barra season. For the little storage areas in front of you. Bit time for at the moment, so I'm just doing what I can when I can. Both the fuel tanks now. It's very dark fish, especially compared to the other one. Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. I'm in the Haynes project boat today just to give you a bit of an update. I've, I've done a little bit on it. I've been pretty time poor at the back end of the year. Yeah, I'm just doing what I can when I can. I'm not too sure if in a previous episode I, I think I'd let you know that the first tank had turned up. Um, I've obviously now got both tanks. They fit really, really well after um, after I got a little bit of glass, a little bit of extra glass that I put in um, after we measured the tanks up, which I knew I had to do, um, but I've done that now. They're just on, down on this edge down here. So as well as that, I've done the lids for the little storage compartments. So these bits of thermalite are the sections that I originally cut out of each of these openings. Because I've glassed over the openings, the openings were smaller than what they, what they were when I cut them out. So I've had to trim all the edges. So yeah, that took a little bit to make it all nice and neat. I routed that, that bottom edge so that they sit down a little bit. But if you look there now, it's, it's pretty gappy up this edge and down on here. And the reason for that is the lids obviously aren't glassed yet. So um, once I glass the lids and I've allowed to, to put like a one or two mil um, strip of foam or rubber around the other side of the lid. Um, so yeah, a bit of glass, a bit of rubber, and they'll sit nice and flush, and it'll, it'll fill that gap out a bit, so they'll, they'll sit in there pretty snug. Righto guys, so this next vid has got a couple of barra that I got right at the end of the season, so that was like a month and a half ago or so now. We had a little bit of good weather leading up to the closure of the season, and I, I managed to get out, I think, uh, a day before the season closed. Managed to get out, managed to find some barra, found a nice little jack as well. So yeah, enough chit chat, enough talking about the boat. Let's head out and try and find some of these bad boys. Today was the last chance for me to get out before the closure of the barra season. Um, so I went out this morning, it's only uh, it's eight o'clock, so high tide was at six this morning. So I got up nice and early and um, headed out. I dove probably five different spots before I found some barra. Um, I managed a couple of nice fish. Got this absolute cracker, nice jack. Another big fella underneath. As soon as I got in the water, I knew it was going to be a really good morning. The bait was up and moving around. I had unreal viz for the area that I was diving. The whole area just felt really lively. The first fish I speared was that jack that you saw at the start of the movie. I just headed down to the bottom and I was just crawling along where the rocks sort of meet the sand. I saw two jacks move in. I just sort of paused and waited. They're pretty curious Jack, so I'll generally come back for a look. It's a great fish. It's about 50 centimeters long, something like that. All right, now for the first barra. I dove another, I think, four areas looking for barra. Now this area, I know that there's some structure coming up. I wasn't too sure where it was. So I just dove down onto the bottom. And I was just slowly crawling along the bottom. Very minimal kicking, so I don't sort of make any noise with my fins. Just trying to be as quiet as I can. You see I've got my gun turned a bit sideways there, so it's still got the shark clip on it, that gun. So I just don't want the shark clip dragging on the bottom or making any noise. I can just make out some structure in front of me, so I slow down. I can see the silhouette of two great looking barra. Now unfortunately, as I was moving around this bit of structure, my GoPro tilted right back. But you can just make out another barra there, down at the bottom of the screen. 
had a few scuff marks and stuff on it, which is interesting. I had another dive, similar area, but different structure, slightly different. So this bit of structure had a big cutaway in the sand and just sort of slowly headed over towards it. Now none of this I could see from the surface, I'm just sort of hunting around down on the bottom. And I notice this big fella. You get a really good shot on it. Now I've got it in my hands, I can see the scuff marks on it. And I can tell that it's actually that second fish from when I shot the first fish. As I was processing the fish, bleeding, brain spiking, I noticed it had a bit of damage up the top of its gills there and that's not where my shot went through. Also notice that one of its eyes looks a bit funny, its left eye there. And what I think may have happened with this fish is I think I may have hit it when I shot that first fish. I think the spear might have gone through the first fish and just hit that fish just at the top of its gill plate there. And what Barra can do is when they get disturbed like that is they'll go and sulk and that's pretty well what that fish was doing, sitting down next to that bit of structure. It's over a meter. See, he's got one one blind eye, I think, or it's something going on with it. It's very dark fish, especially compared to the other one. Very dark on the bottom. Whew, it's heavy from trying to get those photos. Puffed. But right, let's get it back on ice. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below. Any comments about the video or potential future videos that you'd like to see. So yeah, thanks for checking it out and I'll catch you on the next one.